Okay, so every time I seem to make a Bloodlines video, I constantly get this question, essentially asking if Bloodlines is worth buying. So as you may know, the game is 300 Robux. So the main question is, is this price justified? Well, short answer, yes. While the game may currently be a buggy mess, and has been for the past week, I think the game does have potential, and the current amount of gameplay is definitely worth at least 300 Robux. However, I will say that this game is not for the faint of heart at all. This game is more of a roguelike game where if you hop in and die, you're going to be mad when you lose all your stuff. So if you're expecting Shindo Life, do not buy this game. This game is not Shindo Life in the slightest. This game is more like Rogue Lineage than any game I've ever played outside of exact Rogue Lineage copies. Now when you hop in the game, you're going to spawn in as a, a clan. This clan will determine the way you play the game. If you get Uchiha, you're going to have a bad time. If you get Hoshigaki, you're going to have a good time. That's just how it is. I've been getting the question, is the game pay to win? No, the game isn't pay to win in the slightest, actually. The only slightly pay to win feature would be the actual event notification. But outside of that, there's not really much pay to win type things inside the game. The game has plenty of content outside of just PvP as well. There's plenty of NPCs to fight. Now, I don't know who wants to go around beating up NPCs, but if that's what you want to do, you can do that too. There's Chakra Knights. There's... There's all types of different bosses, and they all require different ways to beat them. Some get the parry, some get the cheese. Just all types of different ways to beat bosses. There's plenty of loot drops to try and farm. There's weapon drops, there's gems, there's cosmetic drops. Like, there's all types of stuff to actually try and get inside of the game, outside of just trying to beat people up. Most of the time, people just assume that the game is just beating people up. I don't understand that at all, because it's, it's, that's not what the game is all about. I mean, it kind of is, but not really. The game is actually about progressing more than anything else. It's not really focused on PvP super duper heavy. At least not as much as people would think it is. Currently, progressing is what you would spend most of your time on anyway. Especially if you're just trying to pick up the game to play for fun. I mean, after you progress, that's that's like going to be like the bread and butter of the game progressing. After you progress, it's just going to be like running around ganking people. And eventually, that's going to get boring. And then you'll probably make another account trying to progress that account for fun. And you're going to gank on that for a while. And it's, it's, it's going to be the same thing over and over again, like most roguelike games. An example would be Debulkin. I mean, that's, a, that's at least what most people do in Debulkin. They buy slots and stuff. This game could actually use slots if you really wanted to. Hey, but let me know your thoughts on the game in the comment section below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And on that note, I'll see y'all next time.